Now, now joining us, Mitch Matthews on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Mitch, how's it going, brother? Good. How you guys doing? We are doing well. Doing good. Okay, tell us about this picture. Whose idea was this, and how did this come <laughs> about? So last year, you guys may or may not have seen we oh, did yes, a, a yes. similar picture, but it was a sandlot, correct? Yep. Oh yeah. Um, same same type of thing. Mostly football guys and just a couple of my friends, and um, so we just. You know, we, since we did it last year, we got, you know, a good amount of hits and, you know, retweets and people loving it and enough uh, response from fans and people about it that uh, we just wanted to try it again. So it's actually partially my idea and partially my mother's idea Ooh. to kind of come up with it. And once we had the idea, we obviously Googled a good picture and found the most famous picture of Remember the Titans. And then we said, that's well, simple enough. And we went out and bought the gear for it. So it was perfect. You Mitch. bought the gear? You didn't, so, bu- you didn't well, borrow yeah, we, from we, Springville we, High School? <laughs> no, so all it was was it was a 5X tall tee from some, store, from some discount store and some red athletic tape. And then uh, we went out to a, me and my mom went out to a field and poured water and some dirt, made some mud, and rubbed it on the jerseys exactly how their mud was on their jerseys. And then, uh, <laughs> so, I mean, it took a couple hours. It took a little bit of effort, but... That's how you made a good Halloween costume right there. Nice. Moms <laughs> always are the best and the most creative when, when helping out on projects. Mitch, Mitch, how did you cast this? Did you just go up with, with pictures up to each <laughs> each of the players in the locker room and say, ah, oh, nope, you look good, nope, you don't look good? Yeah. <laughs> well, some are obvious. I mean, some you look at right away and you're like, that is – there's no other person that could, could do that. Obviously, Sunshine didn't have – or he has – the, you know, hair, um, the long locks, but no, no, no one on the team can have that due to honor code. So me and Nick Kurtz had to buy wigs to wear. <laughs> and uh, that's, how we got to, that's how we got the long hair because, I mean, we couldn't – if we would have thought about this maybe 10 months ago, we could have grown out our hair and dyed it blonde. But we thought in the spur of the moment, just buy a couple of wigs. But everyone else looked great and they looked the part. It was perfect. Now, Nick does not uh, look the part because he got the Ryan Gosling. Part. How did Nick Kurtz get the Ryan Gosling? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how you compare a Ryan Gosling with a Nick Kurtz. I'm not sure how, you, how, how we went that that far off for that one. <laughs> now, now the <laughs> the, the, old, the old lineman's Riker Matthews. Now he now perfect. he's perfect, right? Perfect. <laughs> per- Him and Jeterius got the most the, the <laughs> most uh, response. Him and Jeterius go really. Devon Blackman, Devon I think, was good as Julius Devon as well. Was good yeah. too. AJ Moore. I, I, Adam he- Devon was actually a stun double because it was supposed to be Adam Hine, who also was also a good candidate as well. Adam would have. I think Adam would have been. Yeah, good. Adam would have done. Micah Simons on point, by the way, for Rev. Yeah, Micah right. Simons is great too. They're oh. all. I mean, they're all pretty. They're all pretty good. But are they going to call you guys? Are they going to call ahead. you guys? Are they going to call you guys by your nicknames now, Sunshine and Rev? Yeah, it, it, it's been sticking, man. I haven't heard of that Mitch in, uh, since, since Halloween, so it's just been sunshine. Mitch, when did you realize this was viral? Honestly, before we posted it, we said if we do this good enough, you know, the mud is in the right place, the jersey numbers are right, the positions are right. If we do this good enough, we all called it. We said this will be viral ESPN Sports Center before – before we even posted it, we knew it was going to go viral. Just because it's one of those things where we did it last year, we got a good amount of hits, and obviously if we did a little bit better this year, we, we, we knew it was going to go viral. So it uh, turned out to be good. And we got some good responses. So a couple of the original actors were able to see the picture and um, threw a couple of guys. They, were, they said thanks to me uh, for the picture. And one, Louis Lastic's wife, so which is Riker, his wife in real life, tweeted at me and said thanks. Love the picture. We'll always remember so it was pretty cool to get some responses from the original actors and uh, some of the producers. They actually reached out to me and, and said thanks for the picture. So that was pretty cool to see. Nice. Uh, so, so, Mitch, you guys did uh, the Sandlot last year. I uh, remember the ties this year. Uh, with you being a senior, who do you patch that torch to? Uh, and and ah. what do you think is coming next? Do you think you'll still be a part of the decision-making? You know, I don't know where I'll be next year. Hopefully I'll still be playing more football. But with, with uh, the amount of fun we had this year and uh, – the, the production that, that came out of this picture and the, the amount of views and hits we got, wherever I am in the world, I'll fly back for the picture. So I'll have to, I'll have to take it again. We'll have to somehow match, if not do better, than what we did this year. So our thinking caps are already on and ready for next year. Our conversation today, Mitch, has been uh, what chance you know, BYU has to win out in November. Uh, we had Remington Peck in. He said, hey, we feel like we're going to be 10-2. and two. How do you feel about November with four games to go? Um, you know, we have great teams on the schedule. Um, it's the end of the season. Everyone's got injuries. Everyone's a little beat down, broken up. But 
I can tell that this team's hungry, hungrier than we we have been in years past to finish strong because we got something to prove. You know, three, eight, and five seasons is uh, something that you can't get used to and you get sick of. So, me being a leader on the team and being a senior is something that I you know I try to help establish and getting guys' minds that ten and two for a regular season is completely possible, and then going to a great bowl game. And if you look at last year, every team that was ten and two at the end of the regular season last year went to a BCS bowl or better. So it's completely possible to do that. It's completely possible. I think you guys have that in their mind that, look, four games, we need to win these games. They're good teams. Completely respect all of them. You know, we have a chance to go to a big ball at the end of the year and, and make, make another statement like we did at the beginning of the year. So you haven't ruled out a New Year's Six game as a possibility? You know, yeah, I mean, no. Uh, last year, a team, even in the top 20, was in the BCS Bowl. You know, it's a team like uh, Boise State, Arizona. Obviously, it was a huge bowl, a great game. Similar team to us last year, I believe um, one of those teams was 10-2, and two, just like we could be as well. And the strength of schedule we've had this year, we've gotten a lot of respect. And so winning out will be huge, and I believe we'll be top 20, if not top, maybe 16, 17 in the country to get that enough, enough attention. And we've beaten good enough teams to, where guys will want to see us in that type of a ball game and that type of a caliber. Okay, well, good luck. It's been fun to chat about the picture, and I, I do have to say this. It was elite, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Mitch Matthews. All right, guys. See you guys. Mitch All Matthews right, on the Deseret yeah. First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, your values, your timeline, your financial future.